Okay, so in this video, I want to demonstrate the critical path method, or just sometimes referred to as CPM. And here we have a few different activities. Let's call it, uh, give it some numbers, some letters, just so that we have uh, something to work with. And these are just activities, and each activity is on a, a node, or we're just going to call it an activity. And so as we go from start to finish, Per the relationships and the dependencies that we've mapped out here in our sequence diagram is that there are potentially three different paths. And let's demonstrate this for you. There is a path that goes from start to A, then to B, F, E, and then down to start. So let's just call that path A and or let's instead of we've using repeating with numbers, I mean letters, we'll use numbers, and then this is in red. Then I'll use another color here, and we can go down here to C, then to D, then to Z, and then to finish. So that is path number two, and it's, you know, in a rainbow. Then number three, let me pick one more color here. Uh, maybe I'll make it a highlight so it stands out. So because we're going from A to B, just like we did in the first path, but in this one, actually we're going to go down to D, then to Z, then to finish. So that <laughs> would be our path number three. Okay, now the importance of this is that I want you to know that if we were to put some times or durations on these, well that is going to affect how long these things are to take. Because if we were to add up, and I just randomly put some numbers here, but if we were to go on path 1, we're going 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8. Okay, how did I get those numbers? <laughs> I think it's pretty uh, obviously there. But we have 11 here and 15 there, so that all together gives us a 26. Now, what units we use, that really doesn't matter. We could use days, we can use months, we can use hours, weeks. It really doesn't matter. So just for simplicity, let's just go with days. So we're going to say this is 26 days for us to finish all the activities A, B, F, and E along path A, or I'm sorry, 1. Then path 2 would have 4 plus 1 plus 5. So that is 10 days. And now when we look at here, we go A to B, which is 11, like we had with path 1. But now we're going down, so that's one more, plus 5. So 11 plus 6 equals 17 days. So now the question we ask is, which is, in terms of schedule, the most critical? It is not what I'm talking about in the terms of the work. It is not saying that activity A or C is the most critical importance to the project in terms of that scope. No, 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 no. This is purely a scheduling consideration. So in scheduling, which one is the most critical path? That means which one is going to be the longest to go from start to finish? Because if that or anything on that path gets backed up or delayed or pushed, that is going to push the entire project. It's going to push everything. It's because it's going from end to end. It is like if I took a piece of string and it is tied tight, it is taunt. Whereas the other paths may not take as long, so as I stretch them out to the full distance, you know, they might be a little more relaxed or loose. So we have to figure out which one is most critical in terms of time considerations. And that, as you see, is the one that's the longest, and that would be 26 days. So the critical path then is, again, the longest path in terms of scheduling. And that, in this example, is number one, 26 days. The near or the next critical path then would be number three because it's 17 days. This rainbow path, number two, it's only 10 days. And so in that case, it's not the critical path meaning anything on this path two, if this say this one C gets pushed back, say five days, we're going to be okay. Now we're going to actually in another video talk about how we determine how much we care that that slips in terms of a scheduling aspect 
but for right now just know that it's not the critical path now the critical path can definitely change as we move forward in the project and a lot of project management software out there will highlight or, or color code which one is the critical path but it's important to know the critical path but also the near critical path because this one definitely could become the critical path if it were just to make up this nine day difference and so that's a quick look at the critical path we're going to get deeper into talking about things like finish start late start and what it means in terms of lag and lead and and um, any kind of float or slack that might play into its part.